and welcome back to the channel. On this video, my buddy Keith is back with me again. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? How's your uh, arm there and shoulder and the other arm and whatever else happened? Uh, my shoulder's a lot better, but my arm's still healing up. But doing pretty good. But you're ready to go for another ride? Let's go. All <laughs> right, so you're gonna ride the Aerial Rider Grizzly, which you see right there, and I'm gonna ride the Lyric Graffiti. So let's hop on and head out. Don't forget your kickstand. <laughs> Take it easy on right turns. Okay. So I'm just in the rear motor right now. Okay, here we go. All right. Kind of an overcast day. I think we're in for some rain, but so far, nothing. But we've got our rain gear on, so we're pretty good. I don't have rain boots on though, but just wearing my regular running shoes, so hopefully it doesn't rain too hard if it does rain. It's a cool day too today. Feels more like a fall day. So the next street is the one you want to turn right. Not this one, but the next one. Nice turn. <laughs> yeah, you done well there. Still on two wheels. That bike has good takeoff power, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it just goes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go straight down, make it right by the high school, right? Okay. No, we're gonna go past the high school. Past the high school. Remember that road? The one that's, it's the light pass, and we'll go back on through the park there that way? Why don't you leave and get up there? Okay, when we get to the high school, want me to take over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just know how to get it and then once we get there. once we turn right then you can go back ahead okay all right this is where when you accelerate after the light turns I usually accelerate a bit and then I put on the front order to get across real quick but okay you're probably fine but I just like to get out of there quickly that's where the second motor comes into uh, play really well yeah I'm I want you to go first, though. Lots of cars out today. Is that over there a scooter? 
It looks like it. There we go. Do you want me to go for Yeah. I hear a lot of pops and clicks. Do you really? When I'm riding in the bike lane. Look at they've got that. Yeah, yeah I mean it makes you think, oh flat tire every time. But, I think it's just the rocks. Yeah. But ever since I ran over that one nail, I'm thinking, gee, one's enough, you know, I don't want to do it again. Yeah, it makes you a little nervous. Yeah. Those tires there though, I trust it for I think I'd run through anything. Even yeah. some glass on the road they won't, won't hurt it. Yeah, it's a big tire. It take an awful lot to go through that. Okay, you want to go first right here? Or okay. you, to... you go first. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Straight through. See? Okay.
So you just keep going straight here. It'll take you right into the path for the park. Have you ever come around this way? No. Just a little bit different. Someday we need to ride to Newburgh. I haven't ridden there. The only thing is, I don't like riding on uh, Pacific Highway that much, but... So straight out, straight in there. I felt the raindrop. I felt a lot of raindrops. <laughs> When it does rain, I don't know how hard it's going to rain, but they did say about a quarter of an inch of rain, so... Yeah. Have you ridden in the rain yet? Oh yeah. I've ridden in rain, I've ridden in snow, I've ridden in ice. Oh, nice. Check out the videos, I got some videos. Alright. Down to the left? Yeah, yeah. Might see a rainbow. to go down the hill right here on her rollerblades she tried to make this corner and this is where she fell oh yeah that's a pretty yeah. sharp turn on the yeah, skates she, <laughs> i'd say she's doing about 20 miles an hour down that hill ow and she just lost it right about here no brakes no brakes <laughs> no well you have brakes but they don't do nothing on the hill like no that. no yeah that's a little bit that's worse than your accident and no helmet Yeah. I love this part of the park right here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite places to go. Yeah, the butterfly garden? Yep. Yeah, once you get going, and we're equipped. If it was a warmer day, we'd have a lot more people here. Oh, yeah. So it's a little easier to navigate, but.
but you can tell by how cautious it's moving. As soon as I said there'd be more people, if it was nicer out, there's, we ran into several people. <laughs> so. Right? Yeah. We can go around the dog uh, park okay. over there. What pedal assist level are you in? One. And that's the lowest level and see how fast it can go. It goes pretty fast even in assist one. I think it goes like 15 miles an hour. I heard it's zero. Zero is uh, you're all you. <laughs> yeah. And that's a heavy oh. yeah, that's a heavy bike to be pedaling by yourself. That's what I was gonna say, that's what you feel how heavy bike really is. Yeah, if you want to get a workout, that would be the workout. Yeah, I mean, we had all sizes there, didn't we? Did you see just before we got here, did you see that little path there, that gravel path there? Right back. Just back here, just before, after the dogs there? Yeah. See, that would be good. These tires here aren't going to be the best for that, but that would be a good for uh, if you want to do a little off-road testing, stuff like that. Yeah, it takes you right by the river. Right the, like the tires you got on there, the E Huntsman, those would be perfect, but these ones aren't going to be really for that. These are more street tires. Well, I can't but, wait uh, to get the... I thought, like, we'll go on some trails like that. Oh yeah, we'll we'll eventually get on some of those. Let's get, look at the uh, clouds up ahead there. Yeah, it's definitely gonna rain over there. So when you come to the park by the high school, you take that road straight into the park and follow it straight. You go by that boat dock, and then yeah. if you continue past the boat dock, it takes you on a really nice 
like off-road area. Yeah, that would be good too, but we'll, yeah. we'll do that. We've got future rides we can do. For sure. All right, so do you want to go uh, do you want to go anywhere through there or just around here and back out up and you. end the video okay. over at the uh, parking lot and okay. then, okay. So kind of back where we started, right? Yeah, okay. we'll go back to the parking lot there and we'll end it over there. Just pull into one of the parking spots maybe. Okay. The sun's playing tricks with us today. Maybe we're not going to get much rain, I don't know. A shower here or there, maybe? I guess so. We need more like this, right, to ride on. We need... We need path like this that connects us from town to town. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And you're not having to go in the traffic, you know? Yeah, because driving to Newburgh, going up over that big hill. Yeah, I know. Newburgh, I'd like to go there, but then the only way to get there, really, Pacific Highway, right? Yeah. And I really I hate that. I mean, I've ridden on there, but I don't like it too much. You can take a five. <laughs> That's what I recommend it, though. You, need a, you probably need a Saran yeah. souped up, or an Onyx that's souped up, or a Ghost or a Voodoo. It is. That that bike is okay for pedaling. Yep. If I had my shorts on, it'd be a little bit more comfortable. You're a little taller than me, so it's probably a little bit different for you there. Your legs might be a little bit, but you can't adjust the seat. But you could, if you had a longer seat on it, you could put a longer seat and then sit back a little further. I don't know if that's going to be any different or not, but yeah, yeah, it's not. It's nice to pedal that one. It is. I don't have a problem pedaling that bike at all. And I can still see that. Good workout on it too. Yep. Save your battery as well. Okay, yeah, you'd save on your battery too. Yeah. Look at when I pedal. What? <laughs> Hardly pedaling at all. Look at how fast. This is our version of the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> and that train one. No, this this is in pedal assist five and look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Too fast, yeah. You can you can adjust it though a little bit, but so this one goes on with number ten, right? It goes to six. Six. Okay. But when you get to three, I know what you're talking about. You, you ghost pedal. You can't okay. keep up with it. It's like what's the point, right? Yeah, one and two are good. Three, you can kind of. You're gonna go pretty fast. Uh, beyond three, you're, there's no way you're gonna catch up with that. I just been at number one. Number one is what I like for riding around, like on a pedestrian path like this. You can still pretend this is a bicycle. Yeah, if you're on the road two or three, if you can keep up with it, but two is probably, but on any path that you're sharing, I think uh, assist one is, is good enough. Like assist one on that bike is a lot faster than a lot of other bikes, right. like the Rad. You'd have to be in pedal assist three probably to equal that number one. Right. I like pedal assist three on the Rad Rover. That's my favorite setting for that one for pedaling. Sierra would probably pick pedal assist two or three. Yeah, I think that's the kind of bike that she wants. Yeah, she'd she can pedal and be more like a real bike. You know? Maybe the well, one of the times coming up when we ride, I'll let you take that one out for a ride. We do need I do need to get a rear tire for it though. 
But uh, you could ride it a little bit around the neighborhood or whatever, just to see what you think of it. It's the best. It's the best one if you're just gonna want to just uh, have a completely pedal. You're not worried about throttling. Okay. That's the best one for that. It's more easing into the speed. You know, it's not gonna go spit up gravel right off the takeoff or anything. It's more subtle, which I think she's probably gonna like, you know. Yeah. Got an electric bike? Yeah. Pretty fancy. Do you have to pedal? No, you take your choice. You can either pedal or you don't have to pedal. Boy, that looks comfy. Look at the seat on that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that seat looks so comfy. You can check out my YouTube channel. We're shooting a video right now. Oh, oh. where's yeah. the camera? Right there. Oh. Are you going long Hi. distance or something? Oh, we're just riding around here, Cook Park. Good for you. How do you, do you have to have a way to transport these, right? No, I just rode it right from home. Oh. You can, it's just, oh. it's an electric car, That's basically. That's nice, you can yeah. do it from home. Lamp. Yeah, that light is uh, powerful, this one. It's like a car oh. headlight, one only, oh, but. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's DOT approved. Wow. Huh. Cool. Well, cool. Pretty fancy. Right. Yeah. yeah, look me up, Oregon e-biker Mark, all one word. <laughs> okay. You'll be on you'll be on the video. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna give them uh, my business card, but I don't have one. <laughs> See, everybody likes the bikes. I think they all want to get one now. Pretty cool. Okay, earlier you were saying, some people were commenting about, if you have both motors on, it'll save energy, but I've been watching the gauge right here. So right here, it's saying about, it varies 28 to 50 watts power being used and then when you click on both motors it pretty much doubles the power so I don't think you're really saving energy too much. no I, I don't think you'd save much if you save any at all but you know what might work to save a little bit yeah besides pedaling uh, I think a cruise control yeah because you're not always on and off the throttle and maybe a steady speed you know might be actually effective like a car okay and conserving, you know, you save a little bit of gas doing that where you're not on and off the, the foot pedal. And it might work for the bike as well, I don't know. But I've always thought uh, a cruise control would be nice. If you're going, especially if you're commuting any distance at all. Okay. You know, you're on a straight, say we were going to Newburgh, wouldn't a cruise control be nice, you know? Right. Another thing I've been noticing too, if you just give it a little throttle pedal, it goes. There's a little bit of a delay, right, when you start pedaling before the motor kicks in? Yeah, it does. Like about a two second delay or something. And then it goes. But you can do a nice steady, because I've done lots of rides in pedal assist, steady, like, in, in uh, pedal assist one, like 15 miles an hour, or a little bit faster if you want to go pe uh, assist two, you can go like right around 20 miles an hour. It's pretty comfortable. Right. Easy pedaling and you save on your battery. Right. And you get your workout just the same, you know, riding. Uh, it just gives you that little boost for as uh, opposed to a traditional bike, right? Yeah, I know it gives a lot of power yeah. when you're trying to take off too. It Registered about 500 watt hours right here. Yeah. But then you just throttle it, it all looks like it's on your foot. Yeah, you can kind of keep an eye on the meter there and see. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping track of that. See which way is better. When I hit the regen braking, you can see it putting back, it goes immediately over 4,700. Oh, okay. Which is the peak wattage of this that's pretty powerful something i like about these bikes they're, they're really stable at low speed you know? well they're stable i think because of that wide tire 
Probably. If you had a, uh, the narrow tires, I don't think you'd, the stability would be the same. Yeah, I'd be falling over on my mountain bike right about now. These are, these are so nice for that. Uh, so let's pull into one of those parking okay. spots and then we'll just end this video. Let's go down here, I guess. Yeah, well, there's nobody. Man, this bike is so smooth. When you hit that throttle, it just smooth, you know, all the way. Yeah, it's a nice, even. Yeah, I mean, it's just, and it's so quiet, accelerating. This thing, I find myself really trying to put the throttle on really light and easy. Yeah, it's it, pretty touchy, isn't it? It's jerky, yeah. All right, that's well, that's gonna do it for this ride. Keith is getting a little more. A little bit more confident. Used to the bike now, I think. Yeah. Really liked um, going back there on Durham. It went through those little grates on the road nice and easy. Yeah, I was watching you bounce off of those. Yeah, it feels really good. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much, Keith, for joining me again. <laughs> we'll do and it again. we will do another one. Okay. And so uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here in the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video on the channel, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment in the comments below. I do my best to read them all. Sometimes I can't get to them all, but I try to get to them all. So once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Keith. And until next time, take care.